Hi, hi, everyone. Me here. Um, okay. As you already know, the initial plan for the Cosmic Desktop was to deliver mostly a desktop shell that people would originally use with the no maps. But at some point, and that wasn't far from now, a few months back only, System76 developers realized that they should provide a more wholesome experience from day one by offering some Cosmic apps, at least the very basics of them. The good thing with it is that they first would be able to create a more solid desktop by having native apps, but most importantly, they could showcase to developers the Cosmic Toolkit with the hope to get some early contributions. On the bad side, the team had now to work in more projects, and it isn't such a big team, which means both slower development on desktop components, but also very feature incomplete applications. Um, my point is that it would be stupidly unfair to battle GNOME files that has been in development for around 20 years and the last couple of years benefits from two to three regular contributors with the nascent Cosmic files. But we can compare some UI stuff already. Let's say the design language of the two file managers that is pretty much the overall UX of the whole desktops. And so this video isn't about the features or the performance, but only how the things look and feel. Okay, let's do this. If you remember, some time ago there was an initiative to set a command palette as a core component for every GNOME app. Years after, we can see that only on Builder, and even there it lacks things like AI completions. Cosmic Files might be a project less than six months old, but that actually makes it worse, because a command palette is where new projects should start rather than relying on annoying menus. It's truly unacceptable not to have it since the initial commit, really. About the plugins? All right. GNOME files might support extensions, but both the implementation, the discoverability, and the ease of use are so poor that is practically as good as none. Cosmic Files doesn't support community plugins at all. I hope they'll come in the future, but so far isn't an application that has been designed to be extended, at least as far as I can tell from the code. GNOME has switched to icon menus that basically act as context menus, meaning the menu actions are related to the menu placement. Sometimes they are confusing, especially because GNOME keeps moving things around, almost in each release, which doesn't exactly boost fast memory. But overall, they work without major issues. Plus, they work equally good for the responsive mode that GNOME is heavily investing. On the other hand, Cosmic is using a most traditional design that at first glance looks more expressive, but in reality, most of the times is unnecessary. So there are things like copy and paste that are completely out of context actions, delivering an obscure design. And in the end of the day, is anyone using those anyway? Cosmic Files is like a three container window. So we have the header bar, we have the sidebar, and we have the main view. And one thing I love on this design is that we can hide the sidebar and save precious space that can become particularly useful when performing frequent drag and drop actions between applications. Um, search is up here. While the tabs will open above the navigation, that is kind of right, because semantically the URL belongs to the tab and not the other way around. GNOME files is a two container window visually separated to the main view and the sidebar that without any doubt it gives stunning visuals. Tabs will open below the URL which is not really a correct design even if it works. But the transformation of the URL bar into a search input is one of the best features from a UX point of view. In GNOME 47, the sidebar is finally fully customizable, at least the midsection. However, we can only pin folders. It makes perfectly sense after all, right? But on Cosmic Files, we can pin whatever on sidebar, even an FBX file. On a previous video, I called that a bug, but then a Cosmic developer said it was intentional. Okay, look. When you suddenly recast the navigation to a launcher, that is simply a broken consistency, no arguments accepted. Now, if they somehow make a special design for it, then maybe, but still, I'm not a fan of not well-defined UIs. For previewing files, GNOME uses an extra module, AKA Sushi, which works awesomely good although they could spend some more time on its development because it's a bit buggy. Also with space, Cosmic has an embedded to main window file previewer, but it's a bit annoying on grid view because it hides the content and we can't move it like sushi. However, it works super sweet on list mode. So if that's your favorite mode, you have nothing to worry about. 
Gnome mostly uses modal dialogues for various components, like the settings or the about window. A bit controversial design, perhaps, because sometimes it hides the content we want to see when, for example, we perform a change on settings. But one good thing is that we can resize the window that helps when there are many UI elements. And of course, some developers will prefer non-modals for their apps. We can also disable the modals from the window manager, but that isn't really something the users should care about. Cosmic, for the same purpose, will use drawers. But to my experience from other apps doing that, it won't work good when there are lots of options. Of course it does work on Cosmic files, but clearly that can't be a design choice for apps with higher requirements. Meanwhile, you know how we are used to make fun on the bigger is better mantra of GNOME designers, don't ya? Okay, check this out! If we want to sort our files on grid view, we should go all the way up here, and then we can sort alphabetically, or by modified date, or by size, and anyway, each option basically requires two different inputs for bigger to lower and vice versa. But Cosmic Files simply does it better. First of, the sorting has been on context menu, which is faster. And second, they have single entries with two different states. So if I sort by size again, the sort will be reversed and there is this arrow indicator for telling us. Cool, huh? GNOME files can follow the global desktop color, and moreover, since GNOME 47 we can also change the accent, but that's everything we can do. Cosmic files can override the desktop mode, and of course we can do whatever with the colors, but since they did it that far, what if we could get color skins per app so we could have a red file manager, but a yellow terminal? What do you guys think? GNOME aims a lot towards smaller screens and touch, and the toolkit is mature enough to support the goal. It's super lame, we don't have competitive devices, really. Oh, and a better on-screen keyboard, too. Cosmic might not be very touch-friendly, but the responsive mode is important for them, and their tiling desktop, too. Rest assured, responsiveness won't disappoint. Um, I know. Some of you might have a different opinion, but if you're asking me, nothing beats GNOME on look and feel. Actually, is that good? that people are writing apps not because of the great portability or the technical superiority, but only because Lib Adweta looks so fucking awesome. But Cosmic isn't that bad either. It's not like this gaming UI of Deepin and definitely isn't that ugly mess of KDE. But you know, it simply isn't that good as GNOME and second best is also the first loser. Fact one, everything written on C is automatically a security flow. And fact two, there is something seriously wrong with the people insist developing on C today. Um, another fact? Files devs have spent something like four years on refactoring the app and modernize the code without really introducing anything new, at least nothing major. That was honestly plenty of time to rewrite it from scratch with GTKRS, and not only making it better at least from performance and security perspectives, but they could also boost the project momentum and quite possibly bring more contributors to GNOME project as a whole. And you know what? Even if you aren't willing to contribute to a project, the language is still a very strong factor for using it. So if you see me using Cosmic here, isn't because Cosmic is actually better than GNOME already, but because Cosmic has more potential to become better. Although now with the insane AI developments, nobody can tell what the hell is going to happen in two or three years. Rust, C, Linux, maybe nothing will matter. And so that was everything for now. But um, I have a big confession to make. Well, Dolphin's the best. <laughs>